So Boruto chapter 7 just leaked. And there's a lot of things that we gotta go over from this chapter. So let's start going over the leaks that we got. So pretty much this whole entire chapter was literally Boruto versus Mitsuki, which should have been expected as we left off last chapter with the beginning of the fight. Boruto did say he was gonna be a little rough on Mitsuki, but from what we're seeing with these spoilers, Boruto was literally dog walking Mitsuki as Boruto's face was literally unfazed that entire fight. Mitsuki got beat up worse than code. Now the chapter first starts off with a flashback of Mitsuki and it's just Mitsuki with his head down. I guess he's thinking about the beat down that he's about to receive as right after that we literally see him charging right at Boruto. Now this chapter was literally 32 pages of Boruto versus Mitsuki and in those entire 32 pages Boruto was literally toying around with Mitsuki. Now I'm not gonna lie this was the outcome that we all expected as I don't think anybody expected Mitsuki to be on the same level as Code because as I said before Code literally got dog walked by Boruto so if Mitsuki were to perform better than Code the power scaling would be really off. Alright but in this chapter we don't see any new moves from Mitsuki. He's literally just throwing snakes around this entire fight but we also see Mitsuki utilize the shadow clones to attack Boruto as well but in this chapter we see Boruto use another lightning style jutsu assuming he learned that from Sasuke but the jutsu this time is called quick thunder it's not nothing too special just a normal jutsu i guess but yeah moving on is really more boruto putting the beats on mitsuki so boruto really got tired of toying around with mitsuki that he basically started to try and convince mitsuki and we get a little bit of dialogue between boruto and mitsuki about how boruto knows where mitsuki's son is and then we see mitsuki start contemplating about boruto being his son and then boruto drops the bombshell on mitsuki that he really is his son now honestly this should have been the outcome that everyone expected as Mitsuki was literally one of the first people to be loyal to Boruto and if you watch the anime you will know that Mitsuki was with Boruto every step of the way and honestly I don't think Boruto would just let Mitsuki go on with this lie as Mitsuki was one of Boruto's closest friends so Boruto telling him the truth isn't out of the question and Mitsuki was already suspecting Kaoki not being his son in the first place we literally see Mitsuki in the official leak page questioning Kaoki being his son of course not to Kaoki directly but Mitsuki was thinking about it so sooner or later Mitsuki was already going to figure out whether or not Kaoki was really his son as Kaoki has literally been disrespecting him for the last three years and it's only because of omnipotence that he's fighting Kaoki not being his son. If Boruto never returns back to the village Mitsuki wouldn't have all of these suspicions confirmed as omnipotence would have had him believing that Kaoki is his son when in reality Kaoki was just an eclipse that was blocking him from his son Boruto and then I see people on Twitter already overreacting saying that omnipotence is trash and that everyone believing in Boruto is going by too fast and this is why I say all of those opinions are wrong as Boruto has literally been gone for the last three years everyone was believing in Boruto being a traitor for the last three years and like Ada said in order to be omnipotent you just have to make new memories as trying to convince people that Boruto and Kaoki switch roles is just gonna make you seem like you're crazy as literally making new memories and forming your own opinion is how you be omnipotent as Shikamaru needs to hear Amato's conversation in order to start believing in the theory of Boruto not being the traitor and Amato just needed to see Kaoki's body in order to see that his memories were changed and Sarada literally had to beg Sasuke in order to help Boruto. So you guys just need to stop with the whole omnipotence is trash narrative. But moving on to the real juicy dialogue of this chapter, Mitsuki asked Boruto what happened to Lord 7? Did you really kill Lord 7? And again at this time, Boruto is also talking to Shikamaru and Ino. And Boruto drops the bombshell that Naruto is still alive. And he also says that Naruto is very safe. So yeah, Kaoki's downfall is rapidly approaching very fast. In my opinion, things are about to turn up even crazier from here. We also see Kaoki waking up from his slumber after Mitsuki KO'd him. He's talking to Ada and Damon at the time, but we don't really get much of the conversation between them three. Now we're still getting more dialogue between Boruto and Shikamaru about where Naruto is. Now obviously I'm recording this while the roles are out, so I don't know what the roles are saying as it is in Japanese. So we're just going to have to wait for the full chapter for the full translations, as all we got right now are Japanese leaks. But let's move on to what my favorite part of the chapter is, and that's Jura reading books. Yes, the Shinju also turn in this chapter as well and we see Jura the main Shinju gaining knowledge by reading books. Now reading books is the perfect way to get knowledge. Now we don't know exactly what Jura is reading. There's people saying that Jura is reading Jiraiya's books about Naruto or books in general that are talking about Naruto. Now I've seen a translation that said Jura is on his way to meet Naruto so we're obviously about to see the Shinju storm Konoha for their targets and honestly that might actually happen next chapter. Now my prediction on when they attack is probably next chapter chapter 8 or maybe even chapter 9 as next chapter we could see Shikamaru probably checking Kaoki all I'm saying is now that Mitsuki has learned that Boruto is really his son and Shikamaru finding out that Naruto is alive things are about to get really hectic for Kaoki these 
these next upcoming chapters let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what do you guys think is about to happen to kaoki do you guys think miski is about to press kaoki about being his son or do you think shikamaru is going to be the one to press kaoki but make sure you guys like comment subscribe and also follow my twitter link in the description and i'm out